Hey kids, Invertical here. Welcome back to Imperion. We're still in Omicron orbit. I've managed to stop the ship. I've thrown some fuel packs into the fuel tanks and um, I've loaded up some, some ammunition and taken care of some of the housekeeping duties I need to deal with. As you can see, I've still got some cracked windows and probably got to run around the ship a couple more times and fix up things with the repair gun but eh, that's something I'll do I'll, I'll put it on my get around to it list as you can see I'm just above the planet's atmosphere right now um, should be fairly good for now <clears throat> And uh, most of my ammunition has been reloaded. I'm just relying right now on a bunch of Promethean packs. Um, I basically got two tanks of those, uh, which aren't going to last very long. Like a little bit of flight time and they'll be used up. If I just leave the ship here in standby mode with very little or nothing running, um, they should last for a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to raid the fridge here. I get going and uh, load everything onto the shuttle and head down to the planet. Okay, and we'll just quickly load. Okay, load up a couple of fridges here. Um, I've organized my inventory. All of my crates are empty with the exception of this one with some ammunition, this one with my epic weapons and more ammunition and then my standard for going down into the planet um, I've got my hydrogen generators I've got one oxygen generator I got the survival constructor seven auto mining devices I'm positive I had more of them someplace I don't know where I put them but I'm not too worried about it because um, they use a lot of like they produce resources constantly, but they use energy, and you have to be on the planet to do it. And um, I'm not sure. It might be easier just to um, just to mine stuff with the uh, the thing. I mean, the resources are there. It's not like I'm multiplayer or something where I have to be a little bit stingy on them. I just once I've pillaged the planet, I really don't have a need to come back to it. So, what do you say we uh, fire this bad boy up and, as they say, let the pillaging commence? Heading into Planet Omicron orbit. First time around the planet, so I have no idea what's down here. I've uh, searched around the planet a few times here and I found an uh, abandoned factory, farm, excavation site, and drone base, a logistics center, um, let's see a lot of deposits, admin trading center, uh, power station, Another excavation site, a residential complex, another power station, um, a vehicle base. Um, I think I also found a, that abandoned factory that was here somewhere. But, yeah, the abandoned factory. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've taken a look around. I'm thinking I might just do is um, 
I, normally I would take out a logistics center because they're really convenient, but this is literally right next door to the drone base. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure I want to do that because I need to be uh, actually accessing water. And I'm thinking I might just do is grab one of these larger lakes someplace and utilize that as a, um, a base of operation rather than actually um, rather than actually just capture something for the time being I might just you know take a lake like this one which is kind of in the middle of nowhere and uh, use that for the time being I'll come back to it um, after I've established it, I think what I'll do is I will go and I'll wipe out everything on the planet, but I really do need to get the hydrogen working uh, more than anything. Um, I am thinking that I might do is just land the capital ship literally right in the lake or right next to the lake or even right on the lake. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly up to the capital ship, grab a core, come down, and I'm going to just set up a quick base in this lake here. So. Uh, once again, I will be right back. Okay, we're back to space. We just jumped back up on the cow um, carrier here. And I am drastically low on fuel, but um, I think the easiest method to do is to just simply take this straight into, um, literally straight down to the planet. And we'll just land this literally right next to or on one of these lakes. And just hope we don't run out of fuel in the process. It also means that all the weapons that are firing are going to be essentially just meeting uh, up So I don't know what weapon is attempting to fire or at or what, but. I'm just going to build a flat platform on the surface of the lake here um, to land on and land on that. So I'll be back in another second or two here. Okay, we're back. I've uh, kind of built a bit of a platform here. I'm using the structural integrity um, overlay so I can actually see what I'm trying to build. Now I've just basically it's just a bunch of pathways three or four squares wide. Uh, each of these light green um, dots here is a column going down to the sea floor. Essentially is all it is, uh, or the lake, shed, lake floor. Um, I've had a lot of cannon and minigun drones and stuff come over the rise here to attack me. The carrier ship's basically just been shooting them as they come within range. Unfortunately, um, as you can see, the ship is slowly sinking into the, whoops, um, is slowly sinking into the uh, side of the lake here. Um, 
so I've got to see if I can actually get on board this thing and land it um, on this platform. And I'm thinking what I might just do is put some put a pillar up here at the front so I can actually kind of give myself a point of reference. Um, so real quick here, we'll do that. We'll just take the drone and we'll go. Um, we'll just go a, a thin cylinder. Underneath these is where the um, the core is. It's just basically I've just parked it underneath these things. Uh, there we go. And this is just straight concrete. I've been building up concrete. Uh, for another build project um, that I, will, I am thinking of trying uh, kind of an epic build that I want to try and do after I've finished um, after I've finished conquering the, the galaxy as it is uh, so let's get out of drone mode and let's see if we can actually get onto the carrier now if I come on, uh, press button and press and hold, sorry, button and and turn off structural integrity, this is what I'm looking at. Uh, the sun is just starting to come up, which kind of helps. Um, but uh, even with the shoulder light, like it's, the lighting is horrid. See if I can get onto this ship. Come on, open. Are you kidding? Oh, you're going to tell me now I've got no power. It's been sitting here with the thrusters running, and I've got no power. I've got no power. There we go. There's power. Thruster running overlay is very difficult to see anything, so let's change our point of view. And level off here. Come on. Fly sideways. Planetary flight is very, very difficult because you're constantly fighting planetary gravity um, as well, which is really not helpful. Trying to maintain a level flight and uh, try and actually control the vessel at all. That should be a little bit more level. Um, so we'll look, see just how we have landed. I might be able to fix it up a bit so I actually have um, landing gear on something solid. Okay, let's see. Drone. Okay, so one landing gear is on solid. Two landing, two landing gears have actually managed to land on something solid. So I got to bring, oops, concrete blocks out a little bit more, and fix them up. So I'm going to pause here again and just fix this up so that this base is on a little bit more solid surface, and I'll be right back. Okay, kids, I have established the base now. I've put up a couple of just standard minigun turrets. They're just kind of set up on pedestals. Um, put some light on, put a small generator, moved all the perishables out here to to uh, the base so I'm off of the thing and I put a uh, repair locator underneath the capital ship here. 
that way I had, hopefully it will start fixing some of the repairs that need to be done on the ship that I haven't been able to do. Um, I gave myself a bit of a ramp up there and as you can see it is again nighttime it's yeah it gets dark seems to be one of those things where it's dark more than it's light I don't know um, so I'm going to try again to see if the capital ship will actually dock with this uh, this uh, base they're supposed to but they never seem to do or at least I haven't been able to get it done for many years it's down thrust no it doesn't want to I don't understand if there's a trick or something but we'll see what happens if I shut off the power now and exit I don't hear that uh, repair bay, bay working of course shutting the power off means of course all the lights are out <clears throat> I will have to set up a repair uh, or a, uh, a constructor at some point and actually get some additional lighting. These are set to the maximum that they can be and as you can see it's barely even noticeable. I put construction lights around the outside and yeah they're still glitchy but that was something they said they were going to be fixing. So let's see if this thing opens up properties of the item I'm looking at. Currently repairing nothing. Powered, yes. Okay, are you saying you have to be like underneath a landing gear or what's the deal on that? again. Now I'm getting more drone attacks coming in. I'm going to try putting the repair bay literally directly under one of the landing pads. I'm not sure what the trick is for the landing, the repair base. They're supposed to repair capital ships that are in uh, in range. So we'll try one more time. I'm going to put it. The core it is right underneath this drill turret. there. Okay, the repair bay doesn't seem to be able to identify the um, the capital ship whatsoever. 
wanting to see if I can salvage that minigun draw. Lights on, clearly. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not even gonna get close to it. Okay. So the only thing I have left to do now is to just basically set up a uh, location to collect all the hydrogen that I require. There we have it. I'm uh, established, if you can use that term, on Omicron. Um, next episode I will start taking out bases and wiping out all the current inhabitants on the planet that are in my way. So thanks all for watching kids and good night for now.